Let's go all the way tonight. No regrets. Just love. We can dance until we die. You and I will be young forever. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on, I can't sleep. Let's run away and don't ever look back. Don't ever look back. My heart stops when you look at me. Just one touch. No, baby, I believe this is real. So take a chance and don't ever look back. Don't ever look back. I'm a get your heart racing in my skin tight jeans. Be your teenage dream tonight. Let you put your hands on me in my skin tight jeans. Be your teenage dream tonight. Dude, dude, it's 7.37 p.m. and I'm a drinking, I'm drinking me a beer and like, who cares, dude, who cares I'm an adult, you know why I'm an adult, wait a second, I gotta, gotta, I gotta have a sip, I gotta have a sip, homie, oh, alright, that was good, no, dude, I'm an adult, that's it, that's official, you boys, 26, it's, by the, oh, dude, okay, one by one though, because fucking scatterbrain, you know, you know what I'm saying, you already, you already know, you already know, sub, huh, nah, dude, <laughs> first of all, I'm an adult, all right, because I just made the laundry, you know what I'm saying, like, it's 7.37, and I already made my laundry, like, and I already, like, hanging on hanger, so it's drying up, and I'm such an independent boy, dude, I do it on my own, I'm an independent boy, and I took out the trash as well, and I'm drinking a beer before I had a dinner. <gasps> oh, dude. 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 You know what I'm saying? The life is fucking... That's life, dude. Yeah, 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 dude. It's either this. It's either this, to be honest. Or, 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 or. Look, I wish. I wish life would be... Dude, I I fucking wish I wish that would be my life right now. But my life is either, but it actually alright. You know, you know, I'm pretty happy. I got my I got my Malka beer. You know, because representing Israel, I to the L, blue and white, homie. Nah, dude. Tell my tell my Jewish tell my Jewish homies I'm celebrating ten years in Israel, dude. That's about fucking it. It's officially 10 years in Israel. And how about fucking that? Dude, like, actually, it was, like, actually, right? Like, actually, it was yesterday because it was on the 1st of September. But today is the 2nd of September. So I have 10 years and one day in Israel. And this is fucking crazy, though, you know? Dude, 10 years ago, I was a small little Russian boy who thought that he was becoming a Jew and moving to another country. And now I'm, I'm a grown-ass man who did his own laundry. Like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Grab a seven Negro. Dude, have you seen True Romance and Gary Oldman's role in that? When he tried to play a wigger, basically? A white black guy? Dude, that was so good. That was so good. No, but how about Teenage Dream, dude? How about that song that I just used for an intro? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Gracious Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, dude. Because, you know what I'm saying? I was watching that shit. That speaking of me being 10 years in Israel. I was watching that shit when I was here in high school. So I was watching Glee, dude. I was watching Glee as a straight white male. Yes. Dude, that's fucked up, though. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's kind of a, like, I don't know what's worse, dude. Watching Lucifer as a 26-year-old or watching Glee as a 17-year-old, dude. Uh, and by the way, by the way, fuckers, I had to, like, you know, refresh the whole scene in my imagination of the, you know, where the one gay guy who switched the freaking 
the, the his school to the private school and then he's like went to the wobblers and they're all like fucking looking so cool and slick and dancing and singing and shit like that and dude the video on youtube is called glee full performance of teenage dream from never been kissed that's the video all right that's the video that you have to watch because you have to watch it dude because i said so that's why you have to watch it Wait a sec, I gotta drink me a beer though, because it's 10 years in Israel and I'm gonna do it! I don't have my parents to tell me not to drink beer at 7.41 p.m. Yes, I can drink my beer. Yes, dude. Alright, I'm drinking. So, fuckers, open up YouTube, alright, and put in Glean Full Performance of Teenage Dream and just watch it, dude. Just watch it. For 3 minutes and 40 seconds, from the, <laughs> from the second it started, First of all, dude, everyone's looking so beautiful. Dude. So everybody's like how clean shaving, dude. Hair slick, like fucking everybody's gay, I guess. And like every and then and then the guy that's like a cool guy, the 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 guy that we're supposed to like root for, uh like a love interest, he takes the other guy, the gay dude, by the hand and he says, "I know a shortcut. Come come with me, dude. I I, I know a shortcut." First of all, dude, first of all, like if you if that was the other way around all right it was the girl and the guy would take her hand she doesn't know the guy mind that she doesn't know the fucking guy and he takes her hand it's like come with me i know a shortcut oh, you're so fucking cancer dude you don't have a job tomorrow because rapey rape rape stuff all right because rapey rape stuff but no, because that's guys, so it's all right. We're good, right? We're good because it's guys, so, like, no worries. And and we talked about it before, right? We talked about it. Like, as a straight dude, it's pretty hard seeing, like, gay guys do sexy sex stuff and, like, kissing and fucking doing whatever, whatever the gay guys do, you know, play frisbee. You know you know what gays uh, go to musicals and play frisbee? Uh, I'm sorry, Liv. I'm sorry, dude. I love you, bro. I'm sorry. It's all good. Nah. But, but when gay guys, dude, when they go hand in hand, like when they're holding hands and they're going on the street, just like walking around, fucking about, fucking about, mate, like, you know, like, fucking about, dude, it's so nice to see that. Uh, I fucking love holding hands, all right? I fucking love holding hands, like with women and shit, you know, and small kids, but I'm not allowed to anymore because, you know, police and shit. <laughs> not funny <laughs> doesn't have a job anymore no dude so fucking you know when gay guys go on the street and they just hold hands it makes me happy i don't know why it's just because you know they they have a buddy and they just go around with that buddy and they hold hands and it's fucking awesome i can go watch ufc with that dude you know i can watch fucking habib mole people by the way she just did press conference that was pretty fucking cool by the way all right He's opening up his own MMA league, which is crazy. And he has his own uh, sim, like, mobile company. I'm like, oh my goodness, dude. No, but his uh, legit respect to Habib and shit. But yeah. So those two gay guys on the video just go and, like, start singing and shit like that. And I don't know about you people, but I've never been more crypt out when people sing, like, run in front of me, sing and there's uh, mind that there's only two people in the room all right it's like me and the other dude or girl or fucking choose your own pronoun uh 2020 and when the person takes it seriously dude and there is no music mind that no music so they go full fucking a cappella fuck a papa doc fuck a trailer fuck everybody like like eight mile dude like be be rabbit be rabbit oh shit i'm going crazy no <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when they're actually Start singing full serious face, full serious face, a cappella, no background music, and they do some fucking, you know, what's that song? Take me to church, like this shit, you know, take me to church, I worship like a dog. And they like do it full on serious face, and they look you in the eyes. I would rather fucking die. It's so creepy. You know who, lo you know who loves doing that? By the way, hello, sister. It's my sister dude she loves and she has a good voice all right she has a good voice i'll give you that sis you got a good voice dude 
you got a good voice. But I fucking hate when people sing like that. All right. It's just like I have in my, in my head. This shit is going on. And I got to run away, dude. I have an alarm, an escape alarm, because the cringe levels are, are fucking insane. I don't know how you guys go through that. It's, it's, it's just insane. So in this video, the one that we just talked about, you know, the glee bullshit, when they're all singing and my heart stops fucking when you look at me, gay guy, dude, shit's real uh, fucking, yeah. So this shit and they're all, oh my God. And they're like humming, you know, cause the background guys, oh, gee. and the other thing, yeah, the massive like singing and dancing shit, what you gotta do as a viewer, all right? Just mind that. What you're going to do as a viewer, you don't look at the main frame, okay? When you're watching this shit, you don't look on the on the center of the screen. You got to look on the sides of the screen, all right? You got to look for the background, for the extra for the extra dancers and for the extra singers. Cuz the shit they're do with their face, dude. Eee- <clears throat> oh my god, this is so funny. Cuz you know, cuz not like obviously they were shooting this scene like the whole day probably right like 12 hour fucking shooting scene because you know lots of choreography lots of dance moves and fucking lots of hair gel to put on uh makeup and stuff like that so people the extras they don't get paid a lot all right they I, i've been an extra dude i've been an extra i personally have dropped a body of a hooker into yarkon river what what dude i got a body i wrapped it in the motherfucking carpet and i dropped it into you guessed it yes we all know it you guessed it i dropped it in the river because your boy's gangster and he was an extra on the movie that never came out because Run, 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 Rona, dude. Corona. I want, I want to hear Rihanna says Corona, you know, because she's got that. Ara, ara, ara. Ella, Ella. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. All right, no, fucking dude. Wait a second. That wasn't funny. So, because it wasn't funny, I gotta use this shit. <laughs> I love that story so much. Man. That's so good. Dude, Jamie always knows that's funny. I have Jimmy. I don't give a fuck about you guys. All right? No, I actually love you, but I don't give a fuck if you didn't laugh because I have Jimmy. Jimmy's my best friend. What's up? Like, what's up, Mike? No, but for ser- for, for realsies, for realsies, dude, just watch, just watch the people on the outskirts of the frame because that's the funniest shit ever. People, people are not in the rhythm. All right, they're they they're not using the moves. They bobbing their heads, and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, Jesus, that's so... Uh, I, I used to watch this shit. I would watch, like, five hours of this in a day, okay? When I was, like, 17. I would watch five hours of Glee. Uh, not really straight, dude. But what I gotta say, dude, what I gotta say, the whole thingy, the whole... For the three minutes and 40 seconds of the whole video, I turned gay, dude. Because it looks way too fun not to sing and hold hands with guys that are clean shaming and have their hair like fucking slicked and, you know, like put back and shit and looks good. It looks good. All right. All right. You, you caught me. You caught me, dude. It looks good. I was gay for three, three minutes and 40 seconds and it's all good. And it's all good. And we're back to being straight. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. It's all good. And we're back to doing the, you know, wiggly wiggly stuff with the ladies. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You know what I'm saying? There are no ladies, though, because slowly. Because, you know what I'm saying? Slowly. But just, like, being real for a sec. I know I said that I'm an adult and I made my own laundry and shit like that. And I'm drinking beer at 7.50 p.m. on a freaking... What's today, dude? What Wednesday? Why is Wednesday said Wednesday, dude? Why is it written like Wednesday? Oh, wait a sec, dude. Wait a sec. I have to use it because it wasn't funny. <laughs> dude, they laugh. That's all, all that matters. All that matters. No, but you know what I'm saying? Even though I said I was an adult, 
I I've started doing some some new shit. I've started doing the old kid shit. You know you know what that is? It's me rolling myself a joint like a fat one, dude. Like a fucking like like I'm a Snoop Dogg, dude. Like I'm like I'm Snoop Dogg. I'm doing wiggle wiggle and I'm dropping it like it's hot. Like this podcast, dude. I drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, dude. So I roll myself a nice fat jointy joint and i go out on the courtyard like like i'm in a fucking prison dude <laughs> and i go and i buy myself a dr pepper because there is nothing better mm, maybe fanta comes close second and the third is i guess would be coke regular coke not colombia i mean colombian coke you know for the for the you know for the for the stimulation no but coke but in the you know in the fucking glass bottle that's my third second fanta first dr pepper sue me dude sue me i have my own podcast what what are you gonna fucking take you gonna take my microphone dude uh i'm still gonna make a podcast dude i'm gonna write letters you know that first podcast you know how they were making first podcast there was a service there was a service that you had to call in so you would call a number some random number and you will leave you would leave like a long, long voice message. And this would me- voice message would later be distributed to the RRS, RSS, RRS or RSS? I think it's RSS. Like the fucking feed of your voice message that you left on some random number. So people would get it like that. But now we have an internet, you know, we have the interwebs. So I can do it like that. No, but what I was saying, dude, you buy yourself a Dr. Pepper. You get yourself a good pair of headphones. You get yourself some good ass weed, you know? Soon to be legalized in fucking Juland, so we're gonna be all good. I'm not gonna be like, you know, fucking put behind bars. And not the bars like rapper bars, you know? Not the bars of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Of the. Not those bars, like actual like metal fucking bars where people do the rapey rape stuff to your butthole, which I really don't like, dude. I really would prefer not to get rapey raped. That's 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 really not. I'm really not into being raped, honestly. Like honestly, and I, you know, when I find it out, dude, because I think it's one thing that like all men share in terms of their fear. Like, because we all watch the fucking American movies when every time you go to prison, there's some big black or Mexican or fucking whatever. He ha- he can be white as well, dude. I I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. He can be fucking Indian. Oh, I'm going to rape you. Okay. Okay. Now turn your butt down. I'm going to rape you. <laughs> the worst accent ever. No. <clears throat> he can be whatever. And we all fucking fear that, that this black this fucking whatever color he is all right he's gonna just you know group up with some other people like in american history x and they're gonna go run a train on you in fucking showers and it really sucks dude i would really prefer for this not to happen and you know when i got the closest to this thing dude you know when the yesterday's jiu-jitsu class uh dude because i'm unoriginal as fuck you know the most unoriginal person ever i have podcast and i do jujitsu yes copy pasting jerogan yes no so yesterday jujitsu jujitsu by the way i'm sorry that i pronounced it wrong it's jujitsu like from brazil brazil jujitsu viva brazil vamos no so what i was talking about Dude, I'm not getting drunk out of one fucking small 330 milliliters beer, all right? And I'm not even halfway down. So it's not that I'm drunk. I'm just fucking crazy. So chill, chill the fuck out. So yesterday, Jiu-Jitsu class, it was the end of the month. And apparently, when it's the end of the month, they the whole day, they just do sparring. So the whole fucking day we did sparring, so we, which means you roll around with guys and you're not drilling or practicing a certain move. You're just going full out. You're just trying to kill each other. And in my case, I'm just trying to stall and waste time before somebody fucking chokes me out because I don't know how to do anything, dude. I just like use my basic athleticism, like if I ever even have one, just to survive for the longest time. And I just hug them as... 
it's fucking hard as I can so they wouldn't pass like my guard or start start choking me and shit like that. And by the way, dude, my upper lip, obviously my upper lip had a problem with somebody's elbow. So my upper lip decided to go full blast and hit the other dude's elbow. And I didn't have a fucking mouthpiece. So basically I opened up my upper lip, started bleeding like a motherfucker. And everybody's like, ew, dude, you don't have a mouthpiece. And I'm like, no, oh, dude, I'm Russian. I don't need it. By the way, everybody's Russian there, okay? Either Everybody's either like from Caucasus, Russian, or American dudes. That, that's it. That's it. There are no like fucking Israeli guys. Almost no like pure, you know, purebred fucking Moroccan, I don't know. Taimani, fucking, I don't know, Iraqi, whatever, Polish dudes. Everybody's Russian, Caucasus, or American. That's 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 it. The most the most violent people, I guess. That's that's us. Hello, hello. No. So they opened up my fucking you know upper lip. So I had to go and do the you know the watery water stuff just to clean the shit out. And it wasn't that nice because now it kind of hurts to to eat shit. And when it's hot, when I eat hot food, and I fucking love hot food, so it really really hurts. But I'm I ain't changing, dude. I ain't changing. I'm 26. That's it. What you get is what you get. All right. If you wanna if you wanna sign if you wanna sign off on this 26 year old is you get what you get, homie. Amazon Prime delivered right to your door. Uh, uh, it, you get what you get. So. When I got back from my jujitsu class, I, I went uh, I went to the showers uh, back home. So I like warmed my fucking, you know, because it's winter here and it's chilly. And I know, mom, it's much colder in Kazakhstan. Yes, I know, whatever, dude, whatever. No. So I warmed, warmed water with like the, electri- the power of uh, electricity and Zeus, of course. Zeus uh, helped me out with the lighting shit and stuff like that. Uh, uh, so... So I went uh, to take a shower and you know, the jujitsu, cause everybody is sweating on one another and everybody's rolling around on the mats. There is a big, big chance you could like, if people's not saving their hygiene and shit like that, you can get like a ringworm. All right. You can get something that is called ringworm, which, which sucks. Cause it's like some bacteria or virus or shit like that. And you can get like a big pimple on your body somewhere and it's you gotta have antibiotica just to kill that shit off and it really sucks so you want to keep yourself clean and you want to like fucking soap the whole area of your body every single corner and the cranny and the, you know all the nukes and crannies and shit like that and i know it's probably too graphic for you dudes all right i know you probably didn't want to imagine myself you know stripping down Like, all the ladies probably do, right? Uh, I'm sorry, sister, if you're listening. (laughs) But, you know, all the ladies probably like, yeah, dude, just, uh, yeah, talk talk about, talk about your having a shower, dude, it's all good. No. So, I was was basically using the shower gel or whatever that shit fucking is called. I don't know, whatever, the dove thingy. And I was soaping my whole body. and, (laughs) And that's the closest I can get to be a rape victim. You know, because in the movies, they always show a person after he got, like, usually a girl, okay? I'm not not to be fucking sexist, but for some reason, you girls always get raped in movies. And I'm sorry, dude, I didn't pick that, okay? I, I wasn't a director. If I would be a director, only guys got raped in movies, okay? And, and that's it. And when I'm gonna be done with my movie studies degree, the movie that I'm gonna shoot... Is all guys just raping one another. Uh, and it's not even going to be porn. Well, maybe it's going to be like a softcore. I'm not sure. And everybody's going to wear a motorcycle helmet. Because it's, cause it's sexier like that, dude. Uh, dude no, fucking, yeah. No, but, but yeah. Because, you know, it, it looks so ridiculous. Because you never clean your feet with soap, okay? You never do that. You never clean under your kneecaps. Or... Like the other, the other way, you know, the, the backside of your kneecaps. You never fucking put soap there, but you got to, huh? Dude, you got to, cause you don't want to ring your ringworm in your asshole. It's not going to be nice. 
and it's gonna be probably painful. So yeah, I'm basically got myself everything besides penetration, dude. Everything, I everything besides penetration. I got the showers with the soap in my nostrils, and I got a physical fucking violent contact on the mats. So the only thing that is missing, and good God, it's missing. Just fucking bless Allah, dude. Praise him. Good God, it's missing. But yeah, but basically, I know what's up. I know how it feels. I know how to be a teenage dream tonight. In my skin tight jeans, if you were mistaken by, by I don't know, in any point. Yeah, and fuck that. I'm gonna drink my beer and, and you guys gonna wait. And you, and you, guess what, dude? Guess what? You gonna wait when I'm drinking my beer. Mm. So good. Just so good. No. So, another thing. And we have to talk about it, alright? We don't have any other choice. Because it's always... Oh, it's almost 8 p.m. And there is no way, dude, that I'm gonna go to 9 p.m. without bringing up bubblegum confidence dude what's up what's up with bubblegum com- you know what i'm saying you know you know what that actually is have you ever felt bubblegum confidence just just let it simmer for a second just tell me what what are you imagining when you're thinking bubblegum confidence dude you know you know <laughs> like uh, i know we spoke about mothers on the hebrew episode but the first the first person i imagined with the bubblegum confidence was my mom is my mom actually because she's still here good god and she's praise the lord and she fucking loves gum just like myself and uh, my sister my whole fucking family loves gum i think probably probably i don't know about my brother but every time i ask him if you do you want gum he says oh yes of course uh, give me gum i love gum i'm a small brother of Ilya. i don't know why i have a arabic accent no so my like and just just for just for you to imagine what's up with bubblegum confidence, it's that face, dude. It's that face that you make when you go in all out when you're fucking chewing your gum. You know what I'm saying? You you don't just chew with your with your back teeth, you know, like a fucking virgin, dude. You don't do that. You don't you don't go like a virgin with your back teeth and you close your mouth and you're doing the You don't do that shit. You go full out, you open your fucking mouth. All right, mouth, you just like put it in your mouth and stuff. Like you've been like Australian and you put it in your mouth and you go full out. Dude. You use your front teeth if you want, dude. Who gonna, who, who's gonna stop you? You're an adult, you're drinking beer at 8 p.m., you did your laundry and you're chewing gum, dude. You have so much confidence. So just imagine yourself entering a building, all right? Entering a room, if you will. How would you prefer to enter that room? Without a gum? Or with a gum, dude? Just, just like, quickly, dude. You have a choice, you know what I'm saying? You're basically, you know who, you know who you are in that place? Do I have to have your gums? Always have a choice. So you have a choice, motherfuckers. You either use gum when you enter a room or full of strangers that you don't know. Or you go without a gum, alright? I, I I swear to God, I cannot hear you people, all right? Because I'm not that drunk yet, probably not. Like, for real, I only have one fucking beer, so I'm just gonna, just gonna drop it real quick. Just gonna drop it real quick. No, but something happens when you chew your gum all out and you go full blast, dude. You just go, you just go for it, dude. You don't give a fuck. You just go with your gum and you, you fully commit. And you fully commit because you feel, because you know how you feel. And by the way, guess what, dude? Guess what? If you watch a few clips of Nelly, like rapper Nelly on the interwebs, on the this new site that's called YouTube, he's chewing gum. He likes gum because he know what's up with the bubblegum confidence. And the bubblegum confidence, is, the, the whole concept is, you're not really fucking confident. Let's let's be honest. You're not. You're faking it. But what allows you to fake it successfully is the the actual doing of chewing shit. All right. When you chew that shit and you go full blast and you look like you're a fucking Armenian arms dealer. Dude, that's how I feel. I'm in a fucking Armenian arms dealer and I chew my gum in fucking Serbian border and I don't give a fuck. 
sexual, dude. It's related to the news. Whatever. No. You know what I'm saying? So next time, just if you're gonna take anything from this podcast, anything, next time you enter a room, get your gum out, dude. Get your gum out, dude. Because you're gonna feel better. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. When you go, And don't be, and don't be shy. Don't be shy, motherfucker. Don't be shy. Just fucking use, if you want, if you just imagine that you have a skull and the bone structure and the fucking jawline of Brad Pitt, okay? One of the hottest men on the planet, all right? So imagine you have his jawline and you just go for it, dude. And you and you go chewy chewy on the motherfuckers, you know? And then, and then tell me how you feel. Okay, so you have a home assignment, motherfuckers, all right? You have a home, 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 not a home assignment, that's another thing. And we're gonna talk about it some other time. But you have a home assignment. Buy yourself a gum and do an experiment. Go into the room full of, I don't know, fucking either strangers or some Serbian uh, drug traffickers. And it doesn't have to be Serbian. They can be uh, from Azerbaijan or, you know, some some other uh, scary place with uh, bearded men. Dude, bearded men are scary, dude. I don't like them. No. And take your gum, dude. And take your gum. And fool, first first time, and it's gonna be funny as fuck, because the first time you enter the room, the same room, you don't use any gum. And then you're like, you're, you're gonna feel shitty. I promise you, you're gonna feel shitty. So then, you go out, and then you take a gum, and everybody's like, in the room, what the f- what, what, who's that guy, dude? Who's, what's that? He, is that Peter? Like, what the fuck? And then, dude, and then, dude, you take that motherfucking gum, and you go inside and you start chewing away, dude. You start mm, 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 fucking chewing away, dude. And and then tell me how you feel. Because you have your bubblegum confidence. And that's, dude, and that's the fucking lesson, dude. All right? And I'm not sure which intro song I'm going to use. Because I have my own intro. But then the great, 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 great Ofeg, my friend Ofeg, wrote me another intro song. So... As a respect to my to my main man, to my main brother from another mother, I'm gonna use this one. So, homies, ten years in army, I'm an adult, but I like to drink Dr Pepper and fuck around, and I use to fucking chew gum a lot. So that's the main fucking talking points. See you fucking next week, yeah.